Hey family, how are y'all doing? Basically, the Lord gave me a prophetic dream and he wanted me to confirm this for anybody who may have been questioning the word I just uploaded about being equally yoked. And this is God saying, that's exactly how I see unequally yoked relationships. I, my, my hands is not on unequally yoked relationships. So no, I wasn't tripping, tripping. I wasn't being extra, okay? That was literally what the Lord was given. So in this dream, I was in a store and I was with a sister in Christ. And this guy, he started like giving her a bunch of stuff for free. It was like, I don't remember it, but one of them was like electronic and it was just other things, but he gave it to her for free. And she was just like oblivious. So she was just like, oh, he's just being nice, whatever. And I looked at her, I was like, you accepted those things? You know he wants something in return. He's not just giving you those things for free. He He's gonna expect something from you. So that happened. And then what happened after that? He was talking to both of us, but then me and her separated. So he came over to talk to me and he was like, I forgot like how this, conversation started but I just remember him saying I could tell me and her is unequally yoked mind you this is somebody who I could tell in the dream he was not someone who really follows God I don't even think he was lukewarm I think he was cold but even he could tell I'm not equally yoked with her just by one conversation y'all just by one conversation this guy knew they were not equal so as he was talking to me, he was like, and I could tell I'm not equally yoked with you either. But I can also tell that she's single and I can tell by how you're moving, you're taken. So that right there, that dream says a lot. Okay. Because it just explains how some like, Certain things are just obvious and you don't even have to be, this is what I'm getting from this dream. You don't even have to be OD in the word for you to have a conversation with a person and know if y'all are equally yoked or not. The things y'all say, cause we were, we were speaking and there was things that we were saying that he was automatically like, he shut down. Like he ain't know what to say to it. I don't remember what, but I remember the conversation wasn't getting anywhere because of how unequally yoked we were and and that's how I am in real life like you could tell by talking to me multiple people have tried and they could tell without me even saying I'm taking they could tell I'm taking mind you I'm not going out here saying I'm the bride of Christ y'all no that's not what I'm giving but um it's funny because when God tried to talk to me I'd be like, I'm married. And they'd be like, to who, Jesus? Just by one conversation. Is that their spirit picking that up? Because I not, I did not say that. But it's like, I, I guess I carried myself. Like, I would have to be married to Jesus. Like, there's no man, the way you act, the way you talk, the way you think, your wisdom. No man is equally yoked with you. Okay? But that's a whole nother video. Um, I'm about to do a video right there. But anyways, but yeah. I just say all that to say um, that God let you know, yes, my son, yes, my daughter. I don't look at that as a godly unit. I don't look at that as something that I established, I put together before the foundations of the earth. Have some patience when it comes to, this is for people who aren't married, have some patience 
and take advantage of the time that you have while you're single with God. Take advantage of that time. Please do. Because you don't want to rush into something that's not even ordained by the Lord. You'll know when you know. See, the spirit, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of truth is so lit. As I'm getting my Bible, because I'm about to, you know, do a reenactment of something. He put something in my spirit. How do you find out? Get your sword, right? This is the, this is the best way to figure out if you're equally yoked with somebody, right? Get your sword, because this is the, this word is sharper than any two-edged sword, right? Get your sword, right? Go to any shop. You know what? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We gonna go. We gonna go to Proverbs, cause that's one of my faves. Okay, wisdom, 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 wisdom is everything. Better than rubies, better than diamonds, better than pearls. Okay, so. Ooh, I don't. Read. Okay. So say I'm single, right? And I'm trying to find out somebody equally old. All right, let's read the word real quick. Let us let me just grab a scripture. Let me grab the scripture, test the spirit by the spirit. What do you think about this? Proverbs 16 and 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. And I'm just sitting here like, let me tell you what it, the spirit is like saying to me. It's like, when you slow to anger, you are better than those who seem as if they are mighty. You are stronger. You are more powerful than those who think that the words that come out of their mouth really mean something, really means that they are stronger because they said the most curses in the world and because they punch people in the face all day 24-7 just because you look at them wrong. Uh-uh. You are better and mightier and powerful. You got that power, dominion, and authority. When you could look at that situation and be like, uh-uh, that situation ain't going to dictate my action. That situation is not going to have control over me. I'm going to have control over it. So flee. Flee. You need to flee now. But, and then it's also saying, like, he that ruleth his spirit, he that ruleth his spirit is better than he that taketh the city. So let me tell you something. I'm better than this president. Oh yeah, because greater is in me than he that is in the president. <laughs> For a fact. The president is evil, so I don't care that he out here, uh, he could take a city, right? He took the city and took that little blood sacrifice to get it as well, but guess what? I have regions that I have and I own them. I own regions, okay? Spiritually, I'm assassinating every single demon that's trying to come up against whatever is coming up against me or trying to. Okay, so yes, I can rule over my spirit. I have no chains on me. This president got chains on him. I don't care how free he look. He that can rule his spirit. I can rule my spirit. Okay. All I got to do is say a word. And it's done. It's established. And it is settled in heaven. What can he establish? Nothing. Because stuff has to go through a whole bunch of people before it even reaches him. So he really ain't establishing nothing. Okay. So say I'm doing that, right? And I'm like. So what you think about that verse, right? I'm like, so what you think about that verse? And he like, uh, um, amen. <clears throat> Unequally yoked. It's just obvious. So, Start using the weapon. That's literally us having an advantage over every area in our life, including the person that we talk to. I'm just saying. But if y'all both read that verse and y'all was like, if y'all both was like, all right, I don't know what's going on, but amen, I agree, I come into agreement. If y'all both did that, y'all are equally yoked.
But if y'all have two different responses and it's literally like, all right, that just was way too obvious. That was just, mm -mm. don't just jump into something. Cause you're like, it's a sin to have sex outside of marriage. Well, what if the Lord is like, well, it's a sin for you to get married to have sex. Hello? No. No. Absolutely not. Guys, I just pray that you have a blessed day, week, month, and a year. All right? And I ain't going to disturb y'all by trying to freestyle during this video. Uh, I'm going to just keep the peace, okay? I'm just keep the peace. So, guys, enjoy y'all day. Enjoy y'all night. Getting y'all words, saying y'all word. If you're in a relationship and you could feel that y'all are unequally yoked, nipping in the bud. Fully, in Jesus' name. And if you're not in a relationship, but you're, you're single and you're wondering, is this person equally yoked with me? Test the spirit by the spirit. Use that word. Go to church with that person. You can tell. Before I even knew about being unequally yoked, I remember I went to church with somebody mind you it was a whole female um i went to church with her and i knew something was off because i'm more in a message like i'm literally like yes like i'm literally listening to everything he's saying and i'm just literally into it i'm like yo like this yes it's speaking to me and you know what i'm saying like it's a whole bunch like it, it was just really resonated with my spirit and i was paying close attention to every word but this person that I went to church with was sitting there distracted, um, playing with a ba the baby that was with us, just playing with the baby, not not listening, just literally ignoring everything. This per the and I could tell in my spirit, I was like, this, no, this is not the way it's supposed to be. You know, you should be able to tell just by going to church with somebody. That's why it is important that whoever you're with, you go to church with them and. You could tell by how they act. It was just no. Like, I want whoever I'm with to be in worship with me, praising with me, really listening to the message, not sitting there distracted the whole time. No. I knew from then, I'm like, this ain't, mm -mm. something not right about this. But, yes. Okay, I'm going to come back to do another video. I got to reclaim money. So, mm. Mm. Hey, I'm